All right, hello everyone, and welcome to the Panama Tech Intermediate Monthly Tournament. Uh, today we're actually going to have a double dosing of tournaments because there is both the intermediate and the expert tournament happening uh, today. So I suppose we can look forward to that whenever that happens. Um, what do you call it? I guess let's pull the bracket up on the stream. You can look at the bracket with the exclamation mark bracket command, but let's see if I can't pull that on up on the stream. Alright, there we go. So yeah, we're going to be starting with Derek McDee versus Forgetty Yolonese. So this uh, novice, or not novice, intermediate, only having uh, eight people in it. So it's a pretty bit, a little bit of a small bracket, but we will be streaming all of the bracket. Should be a nice time. thing for this year is that um, all of the tournaments are now at a singular level, so the intermediate will be played only at level 8. And this intermediate is what has been in the past for the novice tournaments, but uh, we've decided that the people were far too mean. Teal in this tournament were far too good to be called novices, so we've just basically renamed it. We haven't changed any of the rules, but I think it's pretty accurate. So yeah, just waiting on the uh, players to get back into the lobby. Oops. I told them that uh, they would be starting at 15 minutes past the hour, but I'm ready slightly before then, so you get to listen to the uh, 15 second loop of the, uh, what do you call it, the tournament theme, which I should probably get rid of <laughs> at some point. I hope you're enjoying it. Okay, Derek with the versus... I don't see either of them in the lobby. Oh no, I see Derek, I just don't see Spaghetti, so... Spaghetti might have just, I don't know, taken a walk or something. In which case I might... Well, I can't really close the game, but because I need to be able to see if they get into the lobby, but I might just switch off the music for now. Or just switch the theme off the tournament theme, that's also a thing I can do. Yeah. Oh yeah, there's a recent update to uh, the panel attack uh, theme, so new sound effects and new graphics and basically new everything to uh, get away from the copyrighted uh, assets of Nintendo because that's not always a good time.
so I guess we're just waiting here a little bit. I mean, how's your day been? My day's been pretty alright. Stayed in bed for a while and woke up pretty late, but here we are. Waiting for people in a panel pack tournament. Alright, there they are. They are. The wrong way on the screen. <laughs> Spaghetti's actually on the right and Derek McPhee's on the left, but here we are. So if these sets are all first of five, they used to be first of four. I guess that is one change that did happen because... You know, why do, might not just make all of the... All of the sets first to five makes everything easier for everyone. So you see, Derek starting off with a five chain, but then Spaghetti Sunday starting off with a seven chain, so. Pretty big openness from both players. Now, this is level eight, which. Arguably could make it both easier or harder to chain. With uh, all the animations being slightly slow, giving you slightly more time than level 10 to make chains, but also the, for some reason it's harder to make an insert on level 8 than it is on level 10. Like a couple frames. What is it? Four frames and positive six frames. Spaghetti, uh... Wait, Derek sent a, a ten chain off of Spaghetti's garbage. And Spaghetti is probably gonna send something even larger back. So we have a nice game of uh, chain tennis here. It's actually pretty funny to see. It's pretty unusual. Okay, Spaghetti's gonna go for another nine. Spaghetti seems to be struggling a little bit. See that red health bar go down a little bit? Because you have uh, 21 frames of health on the blade. You have no stop time nor shake time. But sometimes that's not enough, and Derek McPhee takes round one. Oh, wow. Derek not letting up with the open. That's a very nice combo. Eight combos in the eight chain. A high part, high part. Once again, have the situation of Spaghetti kind of just uh, waiting to garbage chain off of Derek McPhee's very large chain. We'll see if they manage to get a transition better than they did last time, and not just kind of flail around and die. I mean, flailing around and die is, dying is a very easy thing to do, and it's all well and good me saying that you shouldn't do that, but sometimes pretty hard to see what you're supposed to do when you just have a board full of panels like they do here. But also sometimes- <laughs> What is that garbage chain? Okay, that is one way to get a 10 chain. Sure then. Stack not having enough panels to do stuff. Hi Kitty, thanks for the subscription. Yes, 
subscriptions are very much appreciated. All of them go to Vault King. What is server? Server costs. Well, servers are not free, and the Planet Flight servers are actually pretty dang good. <laughs> Twin Towers, but neither of them is topped off, so they have the time to kind of just panic a little bit and spend some time setting up the player instead of immediately dying after a third of a second as soon as you're not doing anything. trying to do it for them. Yeah, Spaghetti, after two minutes of uh, gameplay, Spaghetti finally breaks down. It's 2-1 in favour of Derek. Some pretty long, beefy games for both of those players. I'd love to see that. Uh, as soon as I say that. I should not say that. <laughs> Commentator's curse right there. Derek getting spiked. And Spaghetti tying it up after only 12 seconds. Ideally you want to be hitting above 20, but that's not always possible, but if you're below 15, that generally means your opponent is free to do whatever they want, and we can kind of see that here. Both players struggling a little bit this match on offense. Nothing larger than a 5 chain from either player.
see shock blocks appearing. Shock blocks sending a entire row of garbage if you clear three of them, and one more row for every four you clear. So if you clear a seven combo of shock blocks, uh, you send uh, five full lines of garbage. <laughs> Usually they don't come up, they only appear pretty late in the round when the player's needing some help, but well, the players kind of have needed some help. So now they're both picking up the pace, so they're all getting above the uh, 50 damage per minute. And we see a 4 chain from Derek and a 5 chain from Spaghetti. Spaghetti, so, so let's see how they come up with this. Yeah, Derek now has a full mid stack and doesn't have any immediate clear. Let's see how he manages this down stack. It looks a little bit like panic to me. And that's gonna be enough. Three minutes and 35 seconds in. Spaghetti Yellow Knees takes game five. Nice insert from Derek, getting that just in time. So it's an opening four chain, but it's very high stack and wasn't prepared for that combo garbage on top. Luckily, he makes some clears, but that's not enough. Spaghetti now on match point. Yeah, Derek with a solid opener just didn't have to clear after it. That's often what just wins you games, or loses you games rather at this level. You just can't find the clear in time, you just get sniped. And it might be happening again here. Okay, no, Derek able to get sniped and find the clear. Like, these players have been extremely even, it's just that Derek has gotten sniped in the opener twice and that's what's separating these two players currently. Those two wins, those two quick wins that Sogedi got, is the difference between 2-2 two, two and 2-4. Two, Derek getting a bit screwed over by the kind of RNG there, he's gonna have to scramble to find a clear. And all while that's happening. So Getty is now finally piling on the garbage. So Derek should be topped out for a pretty long while here. Two rows of panels, that's not what you want to be seeing as a Derek fan. Yeah, Derek has to find the clear, gets so, but doesn't have any health whatsoever. Does find the 4 combo and does down a second in time for plays. But it's gonna be a pretty big mountain to climb if he wants to come back from this garbage deficit, but Sogeti's still not knocked out. Derek's still kind of playing on for his dear life there. And this might be it, yeah, no immediate clear. That game goes to Sogeti. Good showing from both players there. Will be 5 2 in Spaghetti's favour. Spaghetti moving on in the bracket to face Light Rider. And the winner of the next match, Kitty vs. Umibo, will be uh, facing off versus Kitty in the semi finals. And let's hop into that one right now. Oh, we've already started. Okay, nice and quick. So, Umibo on the left. Tasker on the right. And just like that, a game has already finished. I, uh, it's a nice snipe from Tasker on over to Umibo. Good job I managed to switch the scene pretty quickly. Not switch the scene, but just spectate the game in time. So I didn't see it, but maybe if you're watching on stream, you might have saw it. Another quick snipe from Tasker. Maybe this is her game plan. trying to get, make sure to get all the possible free games you can because whether a game takes 15 seconds or whether a game takes 30 minutes, it's still worth one point. <laughs> so taking all the 15 minute games you can is not a bad strategy all the time. You see Umi both struggling a little. Umi does have the second tier and does see it. Nice vision there. has a pretty big chain and nice horizontals. Yeah, very nice play from 
as fun. Could even get an X9 here, yeah. Very solid chaining fundamentals there, and Umibo is going to have a lot to deal with. Let's see how Umibo's garbage chaining is. These first, like, the first couple clears of a garbage chain, uh, when you're really early, you get all the time in the world. So if you screw up slightly, that's fine. You can just, you know, like, like that, just do a little ghost clear, but it's fine. There's so much clear time to react and see what you need to do. It's the higher, like, once you get to the end of this chain block, Umibo is coming up to it. A nice backing up as well to give that a one line of transition. Like, this is the hardest part of, chaining a clear, of clearing a chain right at the end. And here we go, forfeiting a shogun setup, and gets the first clear, but will he be able to get the second? Barely! Look at that sliver of health at the bottom. Live, living, but not by very much. This match is now approaching two minutes. Now with that chain, I think Yubibo has sent enough to send all the pressure back to Castleman. So keep your eyes on both players, because either may die at any moment, and as soon as I say that, Castleman with that red on the top left, unable to downstack that in time, and Umibo will take their first game. Solid open chain from Castleman. Chain followed by a two. Umibo sends a free chain, but with how low stack Kaskaron is, that's not gonna pose too much of a threat here, so early advantage to Kaskaron. And uh, both combo garbage, right at the top of that five chain. Pretty effective, I would say. Umibo nearly caught out, but managed to find the third chain. not really what we're seeing in this match in particular, but level level 8 only has uh, 5 colours of panel, which means that there's just a lot more opportunities to find a clear or find a combo or whatever. There's no dark blue panel, so there's a level 10. You can see Umibo getting a nice 8 chain on that. That's one now has to transition between garbage layers, finds some stop time nicely, and sets up the 5 combo with the reds, but can't get it in time, so has to settle with the 4 combo. And is now at not very many lines. Might be locked out here. No, it's not. Except the horizontal's going to be blues, but it's now in a pretty perilous situation here. <laughs> this is not very many lines of panels, but finds the second pick there. Well done. And now with this second tier, very healthy second tier, Casman's looking at a little bit of a better situation. We'll be looking to send some pressure back onto Umibo. Downstack the yellow and is now gonna have to scramble. Find the insert and is now locked out. Yeah. Very nice attempt at survival. Just clearing stuff when you don't have any stop time is generally a good idea, but cleared one thing too many and not have any uh, panels left to clear the garbage. Umibo getting sniped again. Just not quite ready to clear the garbage as it was sent. Kaskorn with another cheap victory. And while I would like kind of say Umibo's kind of deserved more, as I said right at the beginning, the 15 second game is worth just as much as the 3 minute games. Stops his way through 
Casquan's uh, region. And Casquan's in a sticky situation, not able to get the clear in time. Some nice offense from both players there. It's kind of the opposite of the previous set, where both players are kind of strong in offense, but their defense might be a little lacking in places. And this time, Umibo taking care to prepare the full combo before the garbage shirt. Wolves has learned from their previous mistakes. And we see both chains finishing at the same time and giving the new chain sound effects. No more trumpets there. But Umibo missing the insert, and that's just gonna be it. If you miss an insert, which is very easy to do on level 8, you kind of need to have a backup plan, because if you don't, well, we saw just what happened there. <laughs> we didn't have anything prepared, and that was it. Both starting with a 7 chain, with Cascron on the curve of the prepared, and Umibo not. Luckily, Umibo low enough stack that he was not topped out, or at least. Cascaron might have been topped out, but it would have mattered. It would not have mattered because she had a glare set up. Cascaron taking the time to raise a little bit. I would have liked to see a maybe larger raise because now Umibo has sent some garbage, she's not going to be able to raise that much anymore. And yeah, Umibo taking advantage of the fact that he was not topped up for a nice raise. Give himself some more power to send some more garbage with. Cascaron, nice slide. It's a risky thing to go from that situation, but that one panel at the top, that one red. Not clearing with anything is going to be Cascron's downfall. So, Umibo on match point, but this has been ba very back and forth so far. And Umibo with a very high stack raise. We'll see how he deals with the uh, pokes. Well, not even pokes, it's a 3 chain and a 5 chain that the Cascron sent. But once again, he doesn't have an immediate clip. I should say. Both topped off and locked out. Yeah, this time Casquan fumbling a little bit. Umibo with the early 3 chain. Casquan with the uh, couple 4 combos. Now a 4 chain. Would have gone for the horizontal, but those yellows getting in the way of the greens, hate to see it. Casper with a nice second to clear. Really matter because they weren't topped off, but always nice to see that vision. Now they seven chain. Put the pressure onto Umibo in this game nine. See how Umibo can respond. Five chain to follow up. Very nice offer from her. And an eight chain to respond to the cast on waiting for that with a couple four combo at the top of her stack. So they've topped off for a while now. Info does have a clear, but has to take care to not do it too quickly or the garbage might not have fallen. Before he pops the uh, puzzles. And 
but in the Casper situation, it does have the purpose to transition that uh, nice layering of garbage for from Umibo, and that was nearly it, but Casper taking care to not get locked out. And both kind of low stack with a lot of garbage pending. We'll see how Casper handles this transition. Handles it nicely with a 4 combo into a 4 combo into Claire. Unibo has the second tier of purples, doesn't see it, and now is scrambling a little bit, but does have that 4 combo with the blues, and it's Cascaron that goes down. Very good final match from both players, but Unibo takes it 5-4. Umibo actually the lower seed there, so pulling up an offset onto Cascaron. GG's. Oh, not that scene. So yeah. Let's we'll see the bracket here. Light Rider and Kitty winning their respective groups actually get a buy into the semi-finals. But Swaggetti and uh Casco, uh, not Casco, and Umibos are uh, ending up facing them. So I've told them to get right into it whenever they're ready, so we should be hopping into that shortly. Let's see if I've guessed uh, the na the, which side they'll be on correctly. You can't change the sides uh, the players are on uh, when you're spectating. Um, what do you call it? So the player who challenges uh, the player one is the person who play challenges player two. And in this case, I got them wrong. <laughs> Swaggetti challenged Light Rider. So Swaggetti on the left, Light Rider on the right. Light Rider, the top seed coming into this tournament, is nearly banned from it actually, is like uh, 40 rating points off of being classified too good for the intermediates. I'd probably still let him in, but showed you where he is. As I forgot to change my panel off, sorry if you can't see these panels of Light Rider, Slide Light Rider using a set of panels which I do not have. So they default back to the ones I use. Light Rider topped off, but only temporarily, and had he been topped off permanently, I think he would have died in there. And again here, it's kind of just scrambling to find a clearance, so getting the takes game one. Maybe Light Rider coming in a little cold? Because that is very un Light Rider right like to die like that. So, so getting with the higher rays of the opener doesn't really amount to anything, because he only gets a two chain. I mean the Light Rider also only got a three chain, so just pokes to start with. Still not enough to top off so, so. No. 
both players clearing the opponent's garbage quickly, but not sending very much in front. Light Red's actually just prepared an 8 combo, but pops it slightly too quickly. Doesn't end up mattering, but it's a little unfortunate as has to burn three more panels to get them there. Okay, there we go, that's the, the second 6 chain of the Light Rider. And so can he also say to send the 6 chain of our own? There we go, this is what we like to see in the uh, big chains and big combos. Now we'll see if these players need it. This is Light Rider not having an immediate clear in it. Is that Light Rider's controller? Or something Light Rider just standing still for a few seconds, two minutes into the game. I don't know what that was, but it's very unfortunate for him. Yeah, he says in chat, controller quits mid-match. Oh no. Probably gonna have to take a few moments to reset his controller then. But yeah, 2-0 right now. I took the time to get myself some water and the pits are off again and off with a slightly more of a bang than they were last time. Yeah, the other feeling it take it two games off to nil off Light Rider. We'll see if he can continue his momentum. They can continue their momentum. Are actually above 20 garbage per minute. Pretty high number. Should keep Sogeti topped off. Sogeti with a mid stack, and Sogeti, I think, dealing with this um, these mid high stack situations a lot better now he's warmed up. Um, don't, please don't die as soon as I say that. Nearly just did, but that level light health was enough to save them. Pile on the offense with things happening apart from garbage balls. But it's going to have to transition a relatively low stack. They'll see the greens though. So of yellows instead of the downside of the greens. It's not the path I saw, but it is a very valid downside of the path now. Spaghetti's Pushing back on eight chains, so many big chains for set. Light Rider nearly locking himself out. He's going to have to find purples or reds or something. Light Rider at a pretty dangerously low stack right now. I'm gonna have to transition through through this uh, layer of factory garbage, but will it be still any of the players first? Not sure. But yeah, Light Rider might be locked out now, definitely is locked out now. Fortunate for him. So get he takes for gear. Third game to nil. Lasting over two and a half minutes that game. So get he might just be on a roll and on to take this uh, month's intermediates.
garbage, Light Rider gonna do the same to you, Spaghetti? So Light Rider appears to prefer this low stack, which, while it's nice for surviving, it's less great for sending counter pressure, as you have to wait a while for garbage to, to clear, and also can get you locked out, as we saw in the previous match. Has cleared some more garbage in his highest stack now. Might have died there if he weren't if he were topped out, but he was not topped out. Now is. So getting high degree second tier clear, very nice. Yeah, Light Rider took it 5-1 over Sorgetti, so Sorgetti is definitely having uh, a grudge match, a very good grudge match indeed. And he has up 4-0, just giving no quarter to Light Rider. Light Rider's not playing badly at all, he's just not lasting the uh, whole time. The three minutes that Sogeti's got, so they're able to take the fourth set to mill. Wow, will we see a sweep against the first seed of the tournament? No. We'll find out shortly. So are you kind of just like out of their mind right now, if I'm gonna be honest? Just... Yeah, not much else to say. Very true in this game, though this might be the end. No, it isn't. Finds the two chain. Stays alive. Now up to two minutes, of which I think Light Rider has been topped off with none of it. Yeah, those combos. I mean, when you when you're just struggling to find it, to find anything, you send lots of combo garbage doesn't really keep your opponent busy. <laughs> Light Rider is probably wondering how Sogeti is still alive, but they are. They are indeed still alive. Has a 5 combo, but pops it early. And now it's Light Rider! Light Rider, the first time he was topped off, can't survive, and it's gonna be Sogeti taking it in a 5 0 sweep. Wow.
yeah, Light Rider complaining a little bit about not quite being warmed up, but I think he played really well. It's just that Spaghetti was feeling even better. <laughs> like that five zero does not scoreline does not reflect the actual match at all. Uh, the other semi final will be Kitty versus Umibo. Did I guess the sides correctly? No, I didn't. I, I'm like 0 for 4. <laughs> What's that? It's a 50 50 chance, or so they say. So yeah, we'll see if Kitty has ended up any more warmed up than Umibo was. But uh, he might suffer a small pain to a flying hot Umibo. I mean, anything can happen. We shall see. Garbage to top, top out Umibo. Umibo not quite ready. This time, need the player garnering enough offense in the open to top the other out, and Umibo gonna go a very nice raise to give them the amount of required panels. Send that much with it. Can he able to send some offense of his own now? The uh, reds on the right, that's gonna be enough to let Umibo tie it up, so we're already not going to have a sweep this set. Okay, it's four chain in, five chain in, a six chain to start. Nearly caught Umibo out, Umibo finding the clear eventually.
So it's kind of just working through the chains at the other set. So we're now going to have to transition to a layer of factory. Has a nice got that chain at the other one. Some very controls. It's just gonna got just gonna swap the blues. That was less good. Over leads. Very unfortunate from Kitty there. We head into game three. Or game four, rather. That was game three. So both of the lower seeds. Showing their guns here. Kitty and uh, Spaghetti won. I'm oh, sorry, Kitty and Light Rider being expected to win this, but it's Panel. Panel is a game of, with lots of RNG in it, and you never quite know what uh, the RNG people, gods and goddesses of RNG, are going to say about it. Slogging in under those. Popped off. We see Kitty actually getting six unique combos and six unique chains. The match went on that long. It's kind of a nice thing to point out. Large chain offense, a eight chain from Unibo and a seven chain from Kitty. to locked out on that block there. It wasn't quite locked out, we would have had to make quite a few swaps in a row in order to get that red in the position which it needed to be. Wasn't 
quite locked out, but would have been a pretty tall order to find the cliff in there, so it would be both tying it up. has the one-shot panel, which is strictly just a deck. You can't do anything with one-shot panel. Let's see how he tries to transition this garbage with two layers of panels. Just gets kind of lucky with a uh, immediate purple player to do. Alright, he got a uh, smile like a company this time around. Storm from Kitty is gonna do it. GG, well played. So Umibo putting up a pretty good fight, but Kitty ultimately being the person to succeed and making it to finals. So our finals will be between Kitty and Spaghetti Yolo Knees.
Yeah, I have, since the finals would involve Kitty, since Kitty just won his second match, I'm giving him the option to have a small little break. Since playing panel is kind of tiring. Has, uh, Kitty has taken my offer to give a slight little break. We're just going to be waiting here a little bit. Yeah, Kitty offering up her three minute break. I guess I should update the info here because it is now the grand finals. Well, I guess that Spaghetti is on the right. Or oh, Spaghetti ch Challenge Kitty, who knows? Kitty has told us, told me that he is ready, so we will go. And yes, I guess correctly, I don't have to type out spaghetti yellow knees ever again. <laughs> At least until the next tournament. So yeah, grand finals. Who will win? Kitty or spaghetti? Ah. Ah. Find out shortly. We'll see how the Beast Player's first opener is. Pretty, uh, ah. not bad, but pretty, like, reserved for both players. None of these huge chains just yet, but some amount of garbage is better than nothing, no amount of garbage.
spaghetti that ends up taking game one with that uh, pillar on the left being Kitty's downfall. We've seen that before, that one panel on top being a player's downfall. In this case, Kitty couldn't quite downstack it because there was nowhere for it to go. Thank you. 
to be enough to take Kitty out. Yeah, these players have shown that they're able to send the large chains, but sometimes it's the combos that have the most killing power. They give you the least amount of time to react. to be able to clear, but what's not able? And he's given away another point point. So getting like won all the like, slogs of this set, but has dropped a couple point points, which is technically very much still in the running at 2-3. Frank said 26, I, my mic had drifted far away from me. <laughs> Should be better now, hopefully. Oh, that was a loud noise. It's louder than it's supposed to be, I think. So yeah, Kitty now, I think, locked out. No, had the blues and gets by with a sliver of health as we approach the two minute mark. Combo Storm from both players. Sorgetti's though taking out Kitty before Kitty's took took out Sorgetti. So Sorgetti now on tournament point. Oh, 
Kitty having to take three in a row if Kitty wants to have a shot at taking it himself. Spaghetti's just been playing so well this bracket. Just, just not dying past the first 30 seconds. He's, they've died in the first 30 seconds. Maybe more than they should have, but they've made up for it with its very stellar defense afterwards. And this match is now past 30 seconds, but Sogeti's still alive, so if we're going by previous results, it would be Sogeti who would be favorites to take this game. Kitty, of course, will probably have something to say about that. We shall see. And again, nice popping of combos to down stack. Still doesn't have a clear bow, so he's gonna have to pop some more combos before finally finding one. That's how down stacking works in this game. You kind of just do clears and canes. Give yourself some stop time. If you find a clear, great. If you don't have a clear, just give yourself some more stop time to maybe find some more clears with panels in different positions. So Kitty chaining all the way down, knowing that Kitty is still. Oh, never mind. I was going to say knowing that Kitty had not topped him off, but Kitty much had very much had topped them off. <laughs> Now Spaghetti has the purples at the top, but is alleging to panic a little bit, as Kitty might be locked out. No, has the ghost throw, but Spaghetti's also locked out. Is it going to be who dies second? Nope, Spaghetti is not locked out. Spaghetti has the clear fossil alarm, but Kitty lives by a sliver. Yeah, just... It's getting raised to the top here, almost. But lives... barely. Now is no longer topped off. And that short garbage, I think, actually helped, uh, or rather hindered Kitty's progress. Almost helped Sogeti. With short garbage not clearing uh, at the same time as normal garbage. It's a special thing that comes with this game. And finally, after all of that, it's Sogeti that takes it 5 2. Congratulations to Spaghetti Yolonese for being your intermediate, January intermediate tournament champion. Well played. Yeah, GG's. And yeah, thoroughly deserved, I would say. Just played super well throughout. Yeah. That's gonna be it for the uh, intermediate. Although, uh, coming soon, maybe the experts. And by soon, I mean maybe in like uh, 20 minutes. So keep your eyes peeled for that. But for now, the stream's gonna go down. Since I do want to split the bots and not have expert be under the title of the intermediate because Twitch is bad.